In this example, I'd like to consider an L-shaped structure here that's subjected to a torque T0, and I'd like to determine the amount of rotation, theta0, that happens at that location where the torque is applied. So, And I'd like to approach this problem by using the relationship that the work into the system is equal to the work stored when we have a nice elastic system. So work input in this case is going to be 1 half T0 theta0, and that has to be equal to the work stored in this system. And the work stored in this system is the elastic strain energy that's stored up into the structure here. So in this case here, in this first piece over here, we have the structure under a state of torsion, and the internal torque, T, let's say as a function of position x, is equal to T naught. So I'll go ahead and introduce a coordinate system here. X. And in the other arm of the structure over here, the system is going to be in a state of bending, pure bending. And just using statics again, the moment in this section here, let's say m of z, is also equal to t naught. So I've introduced a coordinate system here, z, measured from the corner there in this direction here. So I have two coordinates, x and z. You can choose whatever you'd like. You could start them at the other end, it doesn't really matter. But in this setting now, the strain energy I can write as an integral 0 to L1 of 1 half t squared over gj, g shear modulus, j polar moment of inertia, dx, plus the integral 0 to L2 of 1 half internal moment squared over Young's modulus I area moment of inertia DC. So using my expressions for the internal torque and the internal moment in the system, I get one half T naught squared L1 over GJ plus one half T naught squared L2 over EI. So now I can cancel from both sides the one halves, and I can cancel T naught, one T naught there, one T naught there. So I come to a final result that the rotation theta naught is equal to T naught times L1 over GJ plus L2 over EI. And so that's by conservation of energy where I use the kinetic or the force forms for the stored energy in the system.